So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a look at the next 48 hours. So July 31st to August 1st. Um, hopefully we have some new energy coming through since we are going to be shifting into August's energy. So um, keep in mind with this being general, only take what does apply to you and let the rest fly. If you're in need of more so of a personal reading, just check out that information listed below. All right, what's the theme for my Scorpios during this time frame? Okay, so we have love your body and it says let your beauty radiate out. Okay, interesting. So this is making sure that you guys are loving your being overall, just beyond body positivity. For some of you, this is mainly talking about that. You need to love on yourself in terms of you understanding that you're beautiful in your own way and that in life, there's always going to be someone who's attracted to you, who's interested in you. So there isn't a need for you to like feel as if you need to change yourself for the sake of a relationship or um, to attract someone. If they don't feel a connection to you, then I guarantee there's someone else out there who's better for you. Um, if you are like more so struggling with um, confidence in relationships when it relates to your confidence. But um, also for some of you, this is more so just you needing to love your being. A lot of you have been putting yourself on the back burner for the sake of people that you care about. And that's something natural. Um, that's something that we all naturally do when we care about people. We tend to, you know, put ourselves last. And for a lot of you, that's not cutting it anymore. It's time for you to put yourself first Love on yourself harder by taking initiative to do the things that you really want to do instead of delaying progress and delaying opportunities, honestly. This is making sure that you love yourself more than anybody else can love you because the most dangerous situation you can be in is a situation in where um, someone can say that they care about you and love you more than you love yourself or make you think that. Now... Moving, oh, sorry, into the first card. This is going to represent you in the present situation. So with the six of inspiration, um, this is you wanting a level of success, wanting a level of just forward movement. There could be like you wanting success in a creative endeavor. Are you wanting success within your career? Or there's some sort of plan or thing that you're putting in place that you want to go um, your way or you want it to be a success okay a lot of you are also starting to realize that a lot of the actions you may have been taking before may have been actually limiting your ability to be successful especially in career if you've been like procrastinating not being consistent in your efforts or just second guessing okay just having way too many questions and you know making up your mind but not seemingly really taking action on a decision that you may be making Clarifying that I have the justice card. So some of you are also questioning why a relationship is not successful or how you can make a relationship more successful. Okay. Especially if the relationship needs more of a balance or harmony and you guys go through moments where things are just really tense. A lot of you have questions on, okay, is it karma or is this like karmically out of alignment with me? Why is it not necessarily working out? especially if this is a marriage here. Some of you more so have questions on whether or not you're going to have the opportunity to make things work with a connection that you really wanted to be successful, but mm, there's like this push and pull thing going on. Now, when it comes to what actions you could take during this time frame to make the most out of it, I have the temperance card in reverse. So this is working on having a level of patience a lot of you are slightly or very impatient let's just be honest when it comes to the things that you want and some of you may even feel like you waited too long but the issue is the constant waiting the constant like okay is new love going to come in today is it going to come in tomorrow is it going to come like the constant worrying of whether or not opportunity is going to come your way only pushes them away further or makes you feel as if it's taking a lot longer. It's kind of like when you're waiting in line 
at a restaurant or you're waiting anywhere and you have to take a ticket, you know that you're going to get service, you're going to get help, you're going to you know get what you need. It's just you needing to be patient. And when you're sitting there counting every second, you know, like literally making it a bigger deal than what it needs to be, it feels like it's a longer process. So working on a level of patience, just because you have a level of impatience doesn't mean that that's okay to procrastinate or put things off. Okay. Also, there's a need for more balance in a relationship. One partner may be making more than the other, and there needs to be more so of a balance there in terms of the finances and how finances are divvied in the relationship. Or there needs to be balance in effort. One person is putting in more effort than the other, for example. But the next card here is going to represent the obstacle or challenge, and I do have the eight of emotions or the eight of cups. So the obstacle or challenge may be walking away from something completely. Okay. Either you can't right now because you need to have a plan in place. If this is like a career thing, um, if this is a relationship and you live with this person again, it may be more so you need to plan out an exit. Um, and for others of you, it may be just you not necessarily wanting to leave something alone quite yet. You may have a little bit of hope or you want to see if things will get better. And that may be keeping you stuck there longer than um, you really want to be or you should be. But when it comes to the future, I do have the queen of materials. So a lot of you are going to be focusing on finances, how you can save money, how you can make more money. A lot of you may be even contemplating getting like a, just a better paying job or asking for a raise in position, um, or like a promotion, not a raise in position. Um, some of you are looking at like health related stuff, how you can cut back on smoking or drinking or eating healthier. This is looking at trust issues within your relationship or how you guys can better support each other within um, a long-term relationship. But the last card is the advice. And with the three of emotions, there's a need for you to make sure if you are going to reconcile with someone that you're not reconciling yourself back into a bad situation. OK, it's one thing to get back with someone because you guys may have had a disagreement and an issue and you guys can move on from it. But if you keep getting back with someone where, you know, it's just going to go left again and again and again and again and again. How many times do you have to bump your head before you learn your lesson and Another thing with this, there's a need for you guys to really focus on the accolades and success that you want to bring in. That's the only way that you guys are going to stay consistent is if it's on the front of your mind every single day when you wake up. But this is what I see in terms of energy. I am going to stop right here. If you want a personal, just check out the information listed below. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one.